that it's technologically possible to go to 100% renewable energy. The question is political will. The question is not if we are going to go to 100% renewable energy, it is how and when. By definition, we must move to renewable energy. This is not a partisan issue. This is not a tree hugger issue. This just makes business sense. There are several reasons why we should go to 100% renewables. First one, because mitigation of climate change is necessary. The only way to lower greenhouse gas emissions is to go to 100% renewable. Secondly, in this century, earlier or later, we will have the end of fossil fuels, of cheap fossil fuels. So it's a matter of having cheap and secure, reliable energy supply. Third reason is that um, it is a possibility to develop regions, especially in developing countries, to leapfrog to that, to a future, to a future energy supply without going through the errors of the uh, history. And last but not least, if we talk about uh, a sustainable future for our children and grandchildren, then this is only possible by building up a 100% renewable energy system. If there is a barrier to 100% renewable, it's probably up here. It's probably in our heads. Let's face the facts, the planet is 100% renewable. The life systems of the planet run on solar energy. Uh, they've been doing that for billions of years. How do we learn from that? How do we adopt that playbook into the life of a city, into the life of, of a regional economy, into the life of a global economy? And you know, what are the steps that are necessary? What are the technologies and the policies and the actions that are necessary to take us to 100% renewable? We need in this moment to have tough targets and ambitious targets. We really need to stop climate change and we really need to change the world. Um, thinking of 100% renewable, uh, it's not something that is impossible. And uh, the, the, the really interesting thing that is happening is that it, it not, not only it's becoming possible, but there are thousands of experiences throughout the world of buildings, of local communities, of enterprises that already went in that direction. And uh, what is the challenge now? Is letting people know about this, letting people understand that this is possible and it's better for you. And not only better for the environment, it's better for you. It's economically viable. It's technologically possible. Every house should have solar on it, shouldn't it? Well, what are the kind of cleanest uh, energy technologies, not only in terms of global warming, air pollution, energy security, but also in terms of land use and water supply and catastrophic risk? And we came up with a ranking that wind and concentrated solar and geothermal, uh, tidal power, photovoltaics, so wave power and hydroelectricity uh, were the best electricity options. and. Uh, these energy technologies powering battery electric vehicles and hydrogen fuel cell vehicles to some extent were the best for transportation. Uh, we did not recommend nuclear or coal with carbon capture. We are going to be shifting increasingly to renewable energy just because it's cheaper and it's easier and it's better and it's more secure because you're not dependent on your energy resource coming from a pipe or coming from overseas. You are dependent on resources that are right where you are and that you can control your power source in a much cleaner, environmentally friendly way. Economically beneficial because renewable energy also means jobs. So it's important to start off with a 100% renewable energy policy to discipline you, to force you to work out what components of the different sorts of renewable energy generation and supply and how much quantum of each, and particularly to overcome the intermittency of renewable energy that you need. You can have sub-targets to get you there, but it's extremely important from a technical point of view to have a 100% renewable energy policy first so that you do the correct calculations because you're replacing a fossil fuel grid and you cannot do that with a random selection of solar and wind or other technologies. They've got to work together. We need to move to the resources we've been blessed with, which is the wind, solar, geothermal. As we move to that, we make our society more sustainable for lifetimes and, and, and leave legacies for future generations. We need a sustainable energy system so that we can really cover all the needs of the world with sustainable and with renewable energies and this we call the 100% goal. 
We will not reach it tomorrow, but on the medium to long run, we simply don't have a choice because we people on Earth have to live sustainable from the resources which we have, and this means 100% renewable. So we're going to have a 100% renewable energy world. This means 100% renewable energy available to all populations. And currently we know that there's 1.3 billion people around the world that still lack access to reliable electricity services. Renewable energy is the number one answer for the energy crisis in Africa. If the decision makers are on the side of the solution, they must go to 100% renewable energy. They should separate from the solution and the problem. If they say they do both, this means they support the problem. The vision should be 100%. I think we're fairly able to describe the 80% situation. For that last bit, the, the 100%, uh, that's the goal, that's the vision, and that's where we probably also need new innovation. But I'm certain we're going to make it. The solutions are there, we've got to find them. We've got to make sure that they're available. Policymakers have to make decisions to give the right incentives and the right signals. The voters have to vote and make sure that they elect leaders who are going to support these ideas. It's better to, to get to a renewable future, a sustainable future sooner rather than later. And get there before we do the environmental damage, not after. So I'm relying on you. We're counting on you. To do the right thing. To do the smart thing. To do the renewable thing. To make the switch to 100% renewables. Not just because it will make economic sense. Not just because it makes scientific sense. Not just for our planet. But for our future. For my future. My future. My future. My future. I'm asking you to take action. I'm asking you to take action. I'm asking you to make change happen right now. Go solar!